The world of smartphones. You know I gotta cover them here. I'm always looking at the, the latest and greatest in a wide variety of different smartphones that are out on the market. Today, I've got something hot. As far as I know, this right here is one of the world's first unboxing videos of this actual device. It's from Honor and it's called the 6X. And the crazy part here is you are looking at top specifications for a price that's unheard of. This baby right here is going to retail for $249. These people are getting far more competitive these days. So when they asked me to help them debut the 6X, I said, let's do it. Here we go. It's a 5.5 inch form factor, a relatively large screen, as you can tell there. It's one of these trays that allows for either two SIMs or a SIM and a micro SD card to expand the storage. You guys know I'm a big fan of expandable storage, but also the dual SIM option. If you travel a lot, you could pop in a local SIM and actually have phone calls hit that SIM so you're not getting killed on the roaming charges and so on. It's got the dual camera setup. And one of the cool things about this camera, it's got a huge aperture. That's gonna give you that, that shallow depth of field. So you get artistic. It's actually F.95, not even F1. So we've got the volume buttons over on the side, power switches in this location over here, the fingerprint sensor. This location, which is becoming more and more familiar for me, it's just, it's just a very natural place to put your hand and the phone obviously is unlocked as soon as you pick it up. The peel, listen up. Ooh, the build here is aluminum, silver aluminum. Oh my goodness. Of course, your speaker is on the bottom over here. A traditional 3.5 mil headphone jack. Pop this baby. Nano SIM in this location. And then your secondary SIM or your micro SD in that location. Micro USB cable to charge it up. And of course, your power brick as well. Powered by Android. What is this? This is running Marshmallow, right, Jack? One thing I like about these devices, the built-in screensaver images. Look at these, look at these things. This reminds me of a Bob Ross painting. You guys know Bob Ross? Unbelievable. All right, we're gonna enroll the fingerprint real quick. And let's see how quickly it wakes up. Oh! You seen a lot of phones, Jack, that's pretty quick. Look at that. I mean, that's something right there. I'm gonna come in, boom! Can also launch straight into the camera from the lock screen if you choose to. Speaking of the camera, you looking at me, looking at you, kaboom. Magic. Of course, the picture of Jack, the usual picture of Jack. Hard at work as usual. There he is. Taking wide aperture photos can produce images with a shallow depth of field recommended for photos of people or objects within two meters. Now, I'm gonna snap a photo of this. Even after I've taken the photo, see how the bokeh on the back, can you make that out? It hyper focuses you in on a particular element in the image. It's kind of like the way we see things. Like I focus in on you on the lens and the surroundings are by nature of how the human eye works a little bit more blurry. It's not done after you took the photo. If you change your mind afterwards, box is in focus, logo on the top of the box, and then back to the monitor where I'm seeing myself over there. This is a very cool way of like sort of stepping up your game creatively with the photos on your device can change your f-stop there that being the shallowest depth of field at f.95 and then if i drag it down all the way to say f16 you can see that the entire frame then comes into focus that's pretty cool right jack the rear one is 12 megapixels the front one is 8 megapixels perfect selfie or standard beauty i believe i deserve the perfect selfie look there, there's a beauty slider here so who's that over there is that tom Tom, what are you doing? Can you step in the room, please? Get in here. You can't be halfway. Tom! Wow! Look at that beauty right there. That's a different man. I don't think that's me. I'm about to, I'm gonna have to hop on the dating sites. All right, so today I'm pumped up. Seriously, literally and figuratively. A Kickstarter or what? I know it's on Amazon Launchpad now though. So this device has the EMUI launcher on it, 2.0. And that's what's giving you this kind of appearance that you're looking at here, but it is full-fledged Android. So go ahead and put whatever launcher you want on there. Quick spec recap. This thing is a 5.5 inch 
1080p display, 12 megapixel camera on the back, 8 megapixels on the front, 32 gigs of storage, 3 gigs of RAM, and a 3340 milliamp hour battery. All right, you get all that. And what would you pay for something like that, huh? Oh, I don't know, Jack. Tell them. Tell the people. Tell them. $249. $249. The smartphone game has changed. No contract, no nothing. It's just, that's your phone now. I'm just here to show you guys what's going on in the marketplace. And that's the kind of stuff that's available now. This is the new world, the new age, the future. 249, you get a new one every year. 249, Jack gets a new one every month. Let me know in the comments, what else could you get for 249? Not much!